only a month after its cinema release, Ken Russell's latest film, Whore, is out on video. It's based on a short play originally written by a London taxi driver set in King's Cross. Ken Russell couldn't get the money to make the film over here, so had to transpose the plot to the streets of LA, where there was some finance to get it made. The movie takes the form of a series of monologues and flashbacks from its central character, an LA prostitute, played by Russell's namesake, Teresa Russell, as the tart with a heart. What a weirdo. I wonder what he was into. Teresa, a lot of your roles have dealt with um, female sexuality in one way or another. Why are you drawn to these type of roles? Well, mm, they're very challenging roles to play. I mean, if, and I think that they're all completely different women. I mean, if, if there is one thread, I guess you could put that in there. I mean, but uh, there, it's always the challenge. And it, it, if it asks certain questions of your own psyche and, and sexuality, is a, let's face it, is a big part of everyone's life. And um, to explore that area is, is quite fascinating to me. Um, in a way, I turned this one down to begin with because of that very question. I'm getting really sick of people asking me. So I turned it down, but then I thought, well, that's a dumb reason to turn down something as fantastic, challenging as, as this material. I knew it would never come my way again, and I also wanted to work with Ken. Why do you think Ken Russell was the right director for this movie? I mean, it's very direct. Mm. Why does everyone want to put Ken Russell in a box? You know, I mean, he's he can explore different areas of his own self through different types of mediums. It doesn't have to always be in one kind of a way. The director, in this sort of format, where it's just really basically pretty much the one character and, and being forced to look into the camera all the time, the director has very little scope in that kind of format to express his vision other than through the actor. The only way he could really get his vision through was through me, basically. So that could have been a total disaster if we disagreed, or it could work out, you know, very solidly, which it did. It was a very, very positive working experience. I guarantee you, if he ain't sticking it in her mouth, he'll be sticking it in somebody else's. Could be hers, could be mine. We are substitutes. I bet you he's got his eyes shut thinking of his wife right now. <laughs> Me? I don't want to see another dick as long as I live. Ugh. You said that you think that every actress wants to play a prostitute. Mm. Do you think that also extends to sort of every woman in some way in her psyche? I think most women have... The thought has all crossed their mind, whether it's in a fantasy kind of a thought or whether it's... In a desperation thought, what, you know, could happen in my life that would make me have to, you know, reduce to that level of, of to, you know, feed my child or what, you know, I mean, so I think, yeah, every woman, whether it be whatever degree, it has crossed their mind, sure, or wonder, just wonder what it would be like. But Pretty Woman made prostitution look like a sort of viable career option. Do you think that um, horror is a much more down-to-earth and, and realistic portrait of, of what it would be like? I mean, it's true. I've said it before. I think mothers probably should think seriously about, about taking their daughters to this film if they're 15 or 16, if they have been watching Pretty Women, say, five and six times, you know, because that's been a, a, the M.O. on that film. These, you know, gals are going time and time again. Maybe they should just be made to watch horror once to, you know, get a little feeling for what it really would be like out there you know it's not you know Richard Gere is not gonna pull up and take you shopping on Rodeo Drive you know it's just you know that ain't gonna happen so you naughty boy Johnny you dirty little boy Johnny mommy's very very angry with you <laughs> different strokes for different folks we can figure it but that's how Johnny came coming up in part two